Yeah. How do you want to carry it? Just up over our head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> As the summer has been progressing and nearing its final weeks, we've been in overdrive at the cabin getting as much accomplished as we can before the cold comes. The mattress is inside now so we can sleep over comfortably, and while I reinforced the treads on the stairs with brackets, Kyle built the beginning of a railing for the loft. We also brought down a headboard, which used to be a table at the office that Kyle's friend made, and tackled the last bit of shiplap now that the electric is working. The neroli smells really good in these. There's vitamin E, uh, jojoba, rosehip, lanolin, um, a few other things I'm blanking on right now, but all natural, of course. And it's just this really beautiful, almost ambery terracotta color, which I love. This and sage are probably my two favorite colors right now. Um, so this is a lip balm that I'm going to put on my shop. This feels really surreal to say, but as of August 30th, which is also my birthday, the shop is turning one and it has been a wild ride and I'm so grateful for all the support I've been getting and just getting to explore this new creative avenue to help other people get access to really the most pure and effective products. Um, but to celebrate Lucid Lavender turning one, year old, I am having a sale, so you can use the code one year to get 10% off your order. If you haven't tried something out yet from the shop, this is a great opportunity to do so. And if you're a fan of it, now you can get some discounted stuff. Right now the products range from oils to room sprays, jewelry, aura mists, scrubs, salts, serums, salves, and now a lip balm. And I'll just keep adding to that list over time. The link is always in my description of my videos. If you want to head over and check it out and try something out. <laughs> cool. Wow. The next cabin work day, we prep trim beams and painted. We were getting pretty fixated on finishing the loft completely by the end of the week. For the interior walls and window trim, we're using old local barn wood. I just had to sand them one by one to remove debris and any loose paint.
we also had a wall in the loft that needed coverage, so I worked on that a bit while Kyle trimmed. day we were right back at it. It was feeling so good to be consistently making strides. We loaded up some more beams from Jack's old house so we'd have them for when we were ready and then we picked up where we left off. Today was the day that we were going to finish the loft. We did it. The carpet needs a little bit of fluffing, but I could not believe my eyes. I was so, so eager to see it in the daylight. And the next day, something magical happened. A nearby farm field exploded with golden blooms. Sunflowers always remind me of late summer. This part of the year feels so dreamlike and easygoing. It's the lull after expending all of your warm weather energy and the calm before the rush of fall. A pocket of peace. A time for contentment and reflection. I could write a love letter to August and all of its beauty. The final day we made it to the cabin this week was also very productive. I spent the day prepping as much barn wood as I could for the walls. We upcycled another one of the custom wood tables to use for desk space and installed more of the railing using a birch tree from Kyle's parents' property. best friends from childhood just got married and it was honestly one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. Yes. <laughs> Allie. And after rehearsals and final touches, the morning of August 20th, we gathered to celebrate Mr. and Mrs. Pease. I did get up and give a little speech, and then we all danced the night away. Um, 
I feel like a lot of big things are happening in my friends' lives right now. Another one of my friends just moved into her first home, and it's exactly what she was looking for. I am so happy for her. <laughs> Tell me this new like, outfit yesterday. Like these, this is new leggings and new. I need to do this. grabbed a pizza and went to catch sunset on the mountain, but a closed gate blocked the entrance, so instead we parked by the water and watched the world turn different hues of lilac and lavender and baby blue. <laughs> and we sat there munching on pizza when a man approached us and took our picture to show his sick wife. He told us stories of his time in the county and made us laugh the whole way through. As he left, it almost felt like it couldn't have been real. And the whole summer has sort of felt like that. A lot of tough projects have been completed and so many fond memories have been made. And pretty soon here, it won't be summer anymore. <laughs> <laughs>